the carpal joints are easy to inject and these joints are also commonly affected with arthritis in performance horses. There are three carpal joints, the radiocarpal joint, the intercarpal joint and the carpometacarpal joint. When flexed, the carpal joints open and present two distinct cavities. The upper one is the place where the needle is inserted to enter the radiocarpal joint and the lower cavity is where to inject the intercarpal joint. The carpometacarpal joint has no equally easy injection point, but the synovial space of this joint communicates with the intercarpal joint, so the same injection point is used. After clipping for carpal injections, the leg must be flexed to check that the clipped area covers the injection points, since the skin moves considerably when the leg is flexed. The skin must always be carefully disinfected before arthrocentesis. The direction of the needle is at right angles in relation to the skin. Flow of synovial fluid through the needle shows that the position of the tip is intra-articular. When the arthrocentesis is completed, the needle is removed. And the skin is washed once again with disinfectant. Finally, the skin wound is covered with spray plaster or a bandage.